this is my third trip to Dodger Town. Um, I was here in 2015 for the same women's baseball tournament and then again this summer um, for the EDI event and then now again as a player. Um, and it's just really special being here because of the history um, and also just the trailblazing history with Jackie Robinson training, um, doing spring training here. Um, so it's really cool kind of getting to be on the same field and the same facility as them and it's a really special opportunity. Um, especially now after I was working at an event and not playing at one. Um, throughout the event I was just antsy and I wanted to play again. So being able to come down to this tournament um, has been really special again so that I can get on the field rather than kind of work the administrative side of the tournament. So I started playing baseball when I was around two years old, just kind of in the backyard with my brother. Um, he's four years older than me and he really loved baseball. So um, he needed somebody to play with and I was there. Um, I started playing in a league when I was seven. And from seven until 16, I played in boys baseball leagues. Um, after that, I switched to women's baseball. Um, I played softball in college. And then when I moved to New York in 2015, uh, I switched to play for a men's league again, um, so I played for a men's league there currently. Um, and then I also played tournaments with the DC Thunder, the women's baseball team. Um, my mom is from New York and she kind of raised us Yankee fans, so I've always been a huge fan of baseball. Um, and now getting the opportunity to see the, the business side of it at MLB, um, it's just been fantastic to kind of learn the ins and outs of what's actually going on, um, the development of the game. And now I'm um, with MLB events and things, kind of growing women's baseball and girls' baseball um, to a larger scale than currently exists. So I've been really thrilled to see that women's sports, um, all sports, are really growing. Um, a lot of girls are playing more sports. We see that kind of in the high school statistics that um, they continue to play more sports and they continue to play multiple sports too. Um, and I think that's a really great thing, just because of the other um, transferable skills that it kind of gives them, a, gives them as well, like confidence and leadership, which are often kind of, um, they're not acquired as easily in other areas um, or other kind of hobbies. Um, specifically, I mean, I'm interested in girls' um, baseball development as well as softball development. I think that more girls should be involved in the game. Um, and softball, I think that um, it is growing. It is growing and kind of the talent is um, growing from an earlier age, so that's really great to see. Um, and also girls baseball in the past few years has really started to take off even more. Um, tournaments are kind of growing, there are more teams, more players around. Um, and now they're starting to get older too to play with women. Um, so it's kind of reinforcing and the new generation of women's and girls baseball players are coming up at a pretty steady level.